and was then posted to the battleship Ramillies. I was serving on the battleship Ramillies on D-Day. I was on the 15-inch guns and we started firing uh, on the coast and on the German strong points and German gun positions two hours before the troops landed to try and knock out as many German gun points as we could before the troops landed. And incidentally, D-Day was also my birthday. Amazing. And all the lads in the gun turret going across the channel, all the lads sang happy birthday to me, but they put their own words to it. <laughs> Are you able to tell us what those words were? Or were they not repeatable? No. <laughs> Not repeatable. No. No. Just tell me a bit about when you were in coaching, you thought you were going to go up to Malaya and down to Singapore, maybe spend years That's doing that. That's right. Well, You'd when... heard about the bombings yeah. in, and you you knew that Japan was yeah, going to well, surrender. Well, we'd celebrated the dropping of the atomic bombs. and we, We'd really celebrated that because it meant an awful lot to us. Uh, we were not no chance of us getting home for four or five years at least. Uh, now we could see us getting home a lot sooner. Uh, and uh, when we left Cochin, instead of going and fighting in the jungle, we just went straight to Singapore and uh, made tent, pitched tents there uh, and started helping to get Singapore back to normal, uh, sort all the services out and get the city moving again and uh, rounding up all the Japanese. And we, we, we had quite a busy time, but it was a pleasant time and uh, we uh, helping the people and the people were very helpful to us. Uh, they welcomed us. Uh, to be free of the Japanese and uh, we, we got on very well with them. <laughs>